All right, good. Um, can you tell me your name and your job, please? I'm Rob Castles, and I'm the teacher librarian in charge at University High School. Um, and why are school libraries important, Rob? Uh, they're very important because they're the central resource space in the school. Um, they act as um, the place where all domains can do teaching and learning or use the library for their teaching and learning. Mm -hmm. And the teacher librarian can work in collaboration with the teacher to develop um, good uh, learning outcomes for their kids. Uh, because they have access to a whole range of resources, they can often advise and link uh, suitable resources to the learning tasks that they're doing. Oh, great. And why, in your opinion, should a teacher candidate um, make friends with the teacher librarian in their school? <laughs> because we're so friendly now. So nice. Um, <laughs> look, I think, particularly when you're coming into a school for the first time, and it's it's a, a difficult place to, to find your feet. Uh, the teacher librarian is a really terrific place to start. They can they know the school well. They know what resources are available in the school, uh, and they can often suggest suitable um, ways to go about uh, approaching a classroom activity. Uh, they also provide that. Um, collaborative teaching. You can use the library area to bring your class and have an additional person to assist with, you, um, with your teaching. And that, particularly when you're learning your craft, having that opportunity to have an extra person work with you and work with the kids uh, can be a really uh, valuable thing, I think. Mm. Um, thank you. And can you tell me about a time, I know you do a lot of collaborative work with our teacher candidates, can you tell me about a time recently that you've collaborated with a teacher candidate? Yes, uh, well we've just had a group of teacher candidates here, uh, they just finished last week. Um, we had uh, one person in particular uh, who uh, we spent quite a bit of time with, uh, just resourcing his class, he did a couple of different things. He had. Um, a Year 7 class that was working on um, uh, a project to do with ancient Rome mm -hmm. and we were able to provide him with um, some suitable books that he could use as well as um, make suggestions about how he could use them. Uh, we could also provide the space for him to come down and, and do some of his research tasks. Um, it was also an opportunity for him to talk about his teaching ideas with that class and to get another point of view from mm. from us about how it might work better mm -hmm. um, and I think that was really valuable for him yeah. um, it was in, you know in the early stages of his of his t teaching round mm -hmm. and um, it's also a really positive thing for us to do we um, we get to hear about new ideas and uh, and new resources from, from young people that, that, that know about things that we maybe aren't across and that's really valuable for us as mm, well. Yeah. Um, so what three things in our library do you think you're most excited to share with teacher candidates? <laughs> what are the like the star items or resources <laughs> or...? Um, I want them to come in and use the space for teaching so I mm. suppose that's the big thing. I don't, I want them to bring their class in here and see it as a place that um, they can use for, for a whole range of different activities. I also want them to access the book collection because mm -hmm. our library has a really terrific book collection and I think it's, it's really valuable and, and kids um, still get a lot of value from using print. Mm -hmm. We also have access to a lot of online resources. Mm -hmm. and. Um, it, we want them to make good use of that and and use it well and I think that our expertise is in that area where we can teach them and teach kids how to use their um, use their online searching skills. Yeah. And for that we've developed a whole range of uh, libguides that um, we've geared towards particular subject areas and 
and that's a really effective way to um, showcase a range of resources and to help kids focus on their research tasks. Yeah. Um, as well as that, the libraries are just a good central place for them to come, mm. um, where we can give them a lot of information about the school, uh, we know all the staff, mm. um, and we can advise them about uh, a whole range of things. So mm. um, it's just a, a good secondary source of information as well as using their, their um, mentors. Yeah, yeah. And um, finally, just before we finish, what's the best piece of advice that you can give to a teacher candidate who's starting their rounds? <laughs> <laughs> Go to your library and borrow <laughs> something. Meet your teacher librarian and get to know them. Um, they really will be a good resource and they'll be very happy to help you. And you can do with all the help you can get, I'm sure. <laughs> all right, thank you very much, Rob Castles. It's a pleasure, Nell. <laughs>